Hey guys, welcome back. Angless Fall here, and we are back for some more Chef. Um, actually, I'm going to pause this before we get any further. Um, what I want to do is explain to you what has gone on. So yeah, we have a bit of our money here. We are making a profit. I had said I wouldn't come back until we we were making a profit. I have had to, well, as you might notice, get a load more staff in. So yeah, we have more staff. I found out how to do it. It was as simple as, uh, where was it? Staff, you then search for new candidates. Yeah, yeah, I was an idiot. It is what it is, hey? So yeah, we ha now have Gabriel, uh, our chef, who is costing us a fair bit of money, bless him. He is, uh, obviously look, you, the new chef you get here is 130, but you can, you've got 45 points to spend with them, so they're not novices when you first get them. And the same with Gigi and Massimiliano. Massimiliano, which I think he is perfect for our Italian restaurant. So yeah, so I have those uh, those guys in. So yeah, it was the waiters that were messing us over last time, wasn't it? Because everyone was getting annoyed at not being seated and just waiting for stuff. So so yeah, so that is the handy bit. It's the search for new candidate bottom at the button at the bottom here. Yeah. Um, City-wise, what have I done? I've increased my influence around the place. So we've got full influence. So this is. This is us here, and we have full influence all around here. So our current customer pool is 42,000 cheapskates, 24,000 blue collars. We're not getting any upper class, upper class or gourmets, just because our restaurant isn't either pretty enough or our food isn't good enough. But the vegetarians do love coming to us. That is one thing that is kind of handy. Um, Menu-wise, I haven't changed anything. I don't think think or I might have added a load more drinks <coughs> because I've just been unlocking basically the um uh, where are where ingredients we kept getting ingredients um points so I was just unlocking stuff so I've got like mushrooms up to level three tomatoes up to level three I was just upgrading stuff so that everything was the best I could get um yes yeah, so all our dairy stuff is actually really good now um and yes I had unlocked Red wine and... Oh, I hadn't unlocked white wine. I thought I had. But there you go. You can have some white wine as well. Um, where was the... Where's the tea and coffee? Ah, here we go. Coffee. And because I've got level 2 coffee, it then ends up being the excellent coffee or something. I can't remember. We've got tea leaves as well. So, yeah. So, that is that. Let's add the... Oh. Oh, idiot. Idiot. You can tell it's been a few days since I played this. Right. Let's accept that and then go back to the menu and add in oh cheap white wine oh smuggled white wine yeah you know what you can have them we're gonna do a nice beverage a beverage um menu here i might get rid of the cheap white wine at some point i might get rid of the oh no we've got homemade red and discount red when we like i say i'll i'll have a clean around and sort out um but yeah, so what I had noticed is Gabriel, the chef, we can upgrade him. And I'm going to do... Yeah, so you've got this first level of um, skills. And then it opens up the second one. If you look at me, obviously we've got... Uh, where? Oh yeah, because I can then go through meats. I can all go through all these. These guys can't, can they? No, they literally just have cooking. Whereas with me, I can obviously unlock that. And then I can then unlock a second la layer. Level? Something or other? Oh, you know what? Oh, I can't upgrade that. I need some. I need some more energy. If you do energy with all of them, it is rather handy. Because if you look here, this is the energy. We've got the. I can't. I don't honestly know what that thing is. But they're they're happy. The one up from that is blue, and they're kind of jumping. The one down, like I, the one down is that one. Then afterwards they slump, and then they get angry and rear. And as soon as their energy drops all the way there, they drop down a level. So you want them to be good at energy, thingamy bobs, so that they don't lose energy and they're actually useful to you. Um, but yeah, I thought before we get loads of people in here, we'll do a bit of um, reorganising with some of the money we have. Um, I do quite like these tables. I am going to get rid of these stupid tables because they are just, well, yeah, stupid. Um, yes, that gave me money. Perfect. They just don't match our decor. Um, so yeah, we'll um, just slightly rearrange to basically be able to fit a lot more folk in. Uh, there we go. I want to be able to... Oh, they've filled up that table. Yeah. Oh, 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 that was... Yeah, yeah. 
What? There we go, thank you. Um, let's put it around that way and put you all the way up there. You can come all the way down to this corner here, as close as we can get. Where is the corner? Oh, I can't go all the way to the corner. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Um, okay, I'll leave you there. You're there. So I might be able to squeeze a little one in the middle there. <coughs> um, can I? No, I can't squeeze that one in there. That's, that's fine. I didn't expect to be able to. What we'll do, we'll turn you around that way. Get you as close to that as possible. And same here, we'll move you right up there. You can, can you squeeze in? Yes, you can. We'll put you around that way, though. I'll right, we'll squeeze you in there, and then we could put another big one here. Right. Like I say, we need more people. More people to come into the restaurant. More people we get. Like I say, we'll move that table there at some point, and then we'll be able to fit two little ones in there. Um, get off of that. I want more, more small tables. Um, can I? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. That is rather unfortunate. Right, let's um, let me get rid of that. Um, you, can you scoot ever slightly more that way? And now can I fit one in? No, I can't. Ah, okay. Um, how about if I, can you scoot? You can scoot there. You can scoot there. And let's chuck you. There we go. See, I knew you could fit in there. You were lying to me earlier. Right, well, scoot you there. And you know what? Scoot you there as well. We are literally holding 46 people now. 300 food. 300 food? 300 money. That's fine. But like I say, we've got a load more people. We Well, we will have a load more people, which would be quite nice. It'd be horrible to sit in there. And at this current climate, you really wouldn't be sat in a restaurant quite this packed and busy. But, yeah, hopefully we should get somewhere. So what I have done, I've got, now I've got my five um, waiters. I've got Gigi and Jimena on uh, welcoming. Gigi is really bloody good at it. All the rest of the, so hence why she literally just does that. All four of them do the foodie stuff and couple need to, a couple basically take the bill. We really do need to upgrade Zoran, because Zoran is, um, yeah, what do we need to upgrade him? Why do we need to upgrade him? I, oh yeah, look, there you go, his skill there is not great, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but look at Gigi on the reception, look at that, yeah, she's good. And look at him, he's like, yeah, I've got him onto the second level, so, like I say, it's, uh, it's slowly upgrading people. <coughs> well yeah, I did add a load more, um things into the kitchen not that we hugely need them but like I say I did it because it's handy yes yeah, so let's let's speed up time somewhat let's get the people in the people want their food look at that look at the amount of spaces we have might actually be worth me getting an extra oh 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 slow oh I missed it eh, curses how did I miss it Ah, just easily, I think. That'll be that'll be the the one. Oh wow! Look at all these people. So many people. I could spend influence points to get more things on the map, but you know what? I really want to. Like, so I want to get this restaurant to making a profit, a nice profit, and then we'll hire an extra chef in. And oh, whoa! I see you. Prices are quite high. You should know. You, sh you know you should lower your prices, my uncle has a restaurant and his prices are way better. Oh well. Uh, yeah, you know what? Your uncle will soon be the proud owner of failing business. Um, price is terrible, our tablecloth. Uh... Yeah, I'll offer you a discount. That's fine. We'll let you have that. Uh, there we go. Uh -huh -huh. Well, I just want to see what we get at the end of the day, whether we... um. Whether we make another profit today or not, having added all the extra tables. And again, it's worthwhile keeping an eye on these guys to make sure they're not absolutely exhausted. Which Jimena can take a little break, and so can I. There we go. And as soon as they fill up their energy again, they then come back to work. So you kind of, yeah, you kind of just slightly manage them. So I'll send my, I'll go back to work. Gabriel can go on a break. Jimena can come back and 
You know what? Um, Emma can go on a break. Wow. The people. So many people. So many people just everywhere. Oh, Gabriel, come back. Send a Zuna on a break. It'd be nice. The most probably is a way, and if you guys know of a way, um, let me know if there's a way of just sending random people on break or like setting times up for breaks. Like on Overcrowd, you can obviously organise your workforce, can't you, to go for breaks at certain times and stuff. That's really handy. So yeah, if they had that in here, I haven't had a look around for it. Like I said, I'm not going to lie. I haven't, I haven't looked for it. It may be, there may be an option. I just haven't seen it. Yeah, we'll put it, like I say, it's just kind of juggling your staff and getting them on breaks and keeping them happy. And yeah, I have, oh, uh, yeah, I'm on break. So, uh, no, Gabriel, you go on a break. There we go. Ah, uh, Zuna may drop a little bit here, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll let her off. Actually, you can go on a break as well. Emma, break. She I need to really work on their energy, basically. Oh, wow. Look at the money. Look at the money. Right, there we go. Get them back to work. Loran can go on a break. Like I say, it's just a little bit of juggling and managing. It'd be handy if you could like set a limit as they hit half their energy, they go for a short break. That'd be good, wouldn't it? But like I say, it works. It works. You just got to keep an eye. And again, as long as your queues here aren't getting too long, then you're you're good. Oh God, Azuna, you're gonna pass out. You are so tired. You know what? Both of you can go on breaks. I've got this. I've got this. We're good, we're good. Oh, oh, ba-ding. Is that people levelling up or stuff? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at our people. Aha, yes. So, who was... I was saying Zoran needs to be upgraded, doesn't he? Uh, no, he can't. Well, he can be. No, that needs three points. Oh, well, I didn't want to click that. Ah, no. There we go. Cancel that. What are you doing? You're taking the bill and speedy. So, you know what? You can take the bill better. There we go, perfect. Me, I've still only got one point. Himena can have restaurant mapping. Yeah, you can have better restaurant mapping. I think that sounds good. You, uh, how many points have you got? Two? What are you doing? You're doing that. So you know what? You can become a human printer. Excellent. Chef, 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 chef. You need extra speed. Yes, for sure. And that's three points. Salad's cooking time. Yeah, perfect. Done. Uh, Gigi. Gigi, what can you get that will help you? Yeah, because they're all four, so I can't really do much with that. Gabriel, you needed some energy, didn't you, man? Yes, you did. And main course. Okay, maybe not. Well, I've still got two, so... Oh, that's four. Yeah, Okay. Well, we'll wait on that. And Massimiliano, you're really not hugely helpful yet. Right. Excellent. Well, that should help them out a little bit. At least, like, the restaurant mapping should help um, whoever it was. Was it um, Jimena or someone? I think it was Jimena. Anyways, I'll let them, like I say, I'll just let them go now because they shouldn't drop too much energy. Although, wow, look at this. Look at this queue. Wow. There's so many people. Look at my guys go. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, cook, 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 chop, cook. Wow. Yeah, they've all dropped their energy. Look at them. They're all getting... Oh, they're all getting tired. It's fine. It's fine. They don't need energy. They'll just drop to that level now. Look, there you go. Gabriel's just dropped. It's fine. It is what it is. Azuna, you can go for a quick break. And Gigi as well. Gigi as well. There we go. Look at her, she just stands there. Watches whilst my guys do all the work. Ay, rude, rude. Oh wow, these guys are gonna drop, but that's fine. Oh, one thing I had done on, oh yeah, there we go, Zoran has dropped. One thing I had done on the policies and decisions, was it? Stuff, yes. I put them on good salaries, because then they gain daily morale. At some point I will put them to um, excellent salaries, just because, wow. Well, I like paying my people. It, it's helpful because then they gain more morale here, which, well, that can't be a bad thing, can it, really? You want your staff to be happy? Look at our money! This is awesome. This is really cool. 
Yeah, like I say, last, um, oh, well, not last episode, but between recording, literally just before I started to record this one, I'd got to the point where I was making a decent profit every day, but this, this is looking quite good. I am really liking this. We've got two more hours to the day. So we should be able to make a load more money. And we'll have a look at our stats at the end of the day, see what happens, see what we've, um, see what kind of people we've had. It's like I said, I think we are getting quite a few veggies come in. Oh wow, I can just hear these guys gaining points, things, and oh, I like it, I like it. It's, yeah, like I say, it's, it's cool to watch. Like I say, you can, uh, oh wow, look at Mr. Massimiliano, he really is not happy. We need to work on his energy. Ugh. He needs to stop doing stuff. He needs to let the other guy. There we go. Take a little break. He needs to let the other guys do some stuff. But I might. It might be worth hiring an extra member of staff, an extra chef, and an extra waiter. Because, like I say, they're coping well, but why not have more if you can, really? That's my logic. We could have more and make more money. Let's see, look. 430 we made today, so expenses 3,000. Uh, so personnel was 700, rent 270, ingredients, maintenance, furniture and tools was 500. So we would have actually made a grand today. That's quite impressive. That is quite impressive. Um, morale, yeah, they, they haven't quite got back to great. So that's a, you know what? What we'll do, we'll, we will hire another. Whoa, look at all those people. We'll hire, um, who do we want as a waiter? James is Louie or Alex? We're going to go James. There we go. And what we'll do, we will make James, what do we want James to be? Where is James? What do we want James to be? Well, he needs the energy. That's fine. One, two, three. Perfect. Then do we have in front of house and... It was Zoran that was struggling, wasn't it? No, Massimiliano. He's he's the food guy. I don't see why he was struggling. Huh. You know what? We will do food delivery and money. Which then... Uh, no. We'll take them off. We'll accept that. Then that unlocks these ones. And he can have food delivery and money taking. Oh no, he can't have that. Um... And you know what? You can have a bit of cleaning. There we go. Done. Right. Uh, so let's get rid of that. James, you are food delivery and money taking. There we go. So we've got two, two receptionists. Everyone more or less delivering food. And uh, three people taking money. Oh, you. My fork is a stain and the glass doesn't look clean. Can you do something about it? Uh, yeah, I'll clean and give you a discount. Actually, policies. Let's go for cleaning. Um, kitchen cleaning, hall cleaning. Yeah, let's increase that. There we go. Marvellous. It costs a bit of money, but it'll be worth it. It will be worth it. <coughs> like I say, if we can make more people happy. Where are our stats? So we've got people. Um, no, customers. Here we go. Right, so blue collars are four stars, cheapskates four and a half, lower class tourists are four and a half, vegetarian two and a half, eh, white collar two and a half. But look, we've mainly got cheapskates and they're happy with us and blue collars are happy. We need to work on this lower class, fam lower class family a little bit. Maybe the veggies as well. What do the vegetarian? What do vegetarians and lower class family want? Vegetarians? They like vegetarian, vegan, fruit, and they just like meat, obviously. Um, blah, 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 blah. Needless to say, they won't ever. Well, yeah, they okay. So low class, low budget family. They like meat and carbs. Well, we've got carbs, but we don't have meat. Um, not all families are willing to spend a lot. Despite that, they order several recipes. Their expectations are reasonable. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we're, yeah, we, sh we should be fine. We should be fine. Oh, we've got loads of points to spend, I think. Who have we got? We've got a chef. Oh, that's four points, isn't it? Me? Oh, I've got some points. Yes. What's this? Rice temperature management. Nope. Italian language lessons. <laughs> I love this. Um... Oh, see, level two. Yeah, so we'll be moving... What's this? So that's preventative cooking... 
Oh, cooking time down. Al dente cooking. Oh, okay. Um, oh, what generalized skills do we have? You know what? Y your fitness can go up. And yeah, we'll just stick with fitness at the moment because I need me to use less energy. I need me to use less energy. That's just funny. Oh, oh, CrossFit trainer course. Oh, see, that is awesome. Plus 50 energy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely going to work up to that. So that's 10 points they need. Yeah, we're going to get all our guys CrossFit trained. We want them to be able to just run marathons, basically. Let's face it. As a waiter, you are literally just running around on your feet all day. There's no ifs and buts about it. Oh, I never moved this table, did I? Whoa. Quickly, whilst no one's around. No one will see. No one will know. Let's chuck you in the corner. I don't think I can because I've got that stuff, haven't I? Does it not even fit? Yes, it does. Perfect. And can I now fit? No, I can't. But I can fit another one of these in. Uh, there we go. But how do I turn this? There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Right. Um. Done. That's two extra tables. It's really not looking too great. It's not the prettiest of places. It's not the best of restaurants. It is what it is, hey? I really need to work on the decor. I think if, just before we move to the next restaurant, we'll um we'll decorate it all up and then we'll move to another one, I think. that That is the plan, within reason. What decorations? Oh, we have TV. Oh, wow. Yes, because then I've unlocked loads of stuff, obviously. I've, not that I've actually been and looked at it, but... Oh, aircon. Oh, aircon. Oh, look at all the wine. What is this? This is rustic, rustic. Wow, look at that wine. Wow. What's that? Minimal mirror. Eh. Eh. What are these things? Oh, okay, yeah. So, shall we go for the aircon, maybe? What does that do? Rustic. We've got loads of rustic, though, haven't we? I think modern. I didn't. No, I didn't put a wine shelf in, did I? No, didn't think I had. Let's. Can I? How about? No, I can't chuck it there. You know what? We can have it just above this table there. Perfect. Excellent. Right. Carry on. That might make them happier. Might make them sadder. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Hey. Like I said, I'm going to spend the day where I don't actually um. Then my staff on breaks. I just want to see what happens if I don't send them on breaks. Oh, actually, what we could do. Ingredients. Let's increase our tea leaves. You tea leaf, you. Increase our red wine. And we've got one extra point to spend, which we will keep for the time being. Menu. Aha. Excellent tea. Yes. White wine infinity skirt. Yes. White wine. We've we basically got so much wine choice. Look at this. Oh wow, they're 100% on flavour. What was the excellent tea? Oh, excellent. Well, obviously. <laughs> um, right, cheap... Oh wow, I never changed the prices, did I? Cheap white wine can be the same as the other one, so three. Excellent tea. What's the excellent coffee? Excellent coffee is five. Excellent tea is five. White wine. Uh, you know what? That can be... Six... No, that could be five, actually. Not 56, which I was just about to put in. And we'll put this one at six. Done. You know what? I could, I could go seven. And then that one could be seven as well. There we go. Let's make a profit on these things. <coughs> alcohol is where the profit is. Sell that alcohol. Uh, get people drunk. They then spend more. It's the perfect business model. Then you walk up to them and go, ah, oh, you fancy another one? Yeah, of course you do. And there you go. Yeah, peer pressure. It works perfectly. Like I said, that's where they spend their money. That is how they spend the money. Right, let's speed it up a little bit. Come on. I want to see what we finish the day on. I'm literally going to do nothing and not spend any more money. Like I say, we've bought a couple of tables. We have, um, we've added an extra member of staff again. But their energy seems to be going quite well, apart from Humina. But, and our chefs, we need another chef, don't we? Yeah, see, ooh, ooh, uh, you have unlocked, ooh, okay, yes, let's make some money, money with pri people's private data. Hmm, no, that's fine, 
That's fine. I'm not doing any advertising at the moment at all. I'm just not advertising anything. I'm just like, eh, whatever. Whatever. People come. Look, we're, we're completely full. Apart from at this point in time, most of the day we have been ram-packed. So you know what? No, we do not need any more um, people coming in. There's plenty, thank you very much. Absolutely fine. Wow, look at our influence points. When we move to this new place, well, I don't know whether they'll carry over. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they stay with my chef. Obviously it's my chef creating the, um, the buzz, isn't it? That's my logic. And if that chef moves somewhere else, surely then that is... I, I don't know, I don't know. Right, we're up to 1,800. We should have had less people moaning about the cleanliness, which would be handy. Again, we could work on the recipes a bit more. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this now. I don't know. I really do want to move to another restaurant just to... But I want a bigger place where we can do some nicer, nicer decor. This is bare basic, isn't it? It isn't really. There isn't much going on. But, ooh, 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 let's slow it down. What are these things? Uh, what, 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 what? Oh, I think it was the, here we go, decisions. Unique table designs. Okay, yeah, we can activate. Hello World Design School. Yeah, perfect. We'll activate them. The policies are costing us 490 a day. Hmm. People. Oh, yeah, can I? Eek, eek, eek. Skills, skills. I need... CrossFit training and CrossFit training. Yeah, there we go. Who was the other one who needed CrossFit? Gigi? No, you. Yeah. Chef. Yeah, you know what? You can have some more CrossFit. Uh, and accept. Keep forgetting to do that whole accept, don't I? Uh, you know what? You can have oratory. Or what was it? Oratory art. Yes, perfect. There we go. Done. I was waiting for that CrossFit, but you know what? Skills are skills. Yeah, they've all dropped a fair bit, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine, because like I say, they're being paid an excellent wage. No, they're not yet. Oh, I thought they are being paid an excellent wage. Oh, Massimiliano. Curse you, curse you for just... How, how are you not fit enough to do this? How? Yeah, is what it is, hey? Although, I'm annoyed we have Zoran and Massimiliano who look exactly the same and I keep getting confused between the two of them. Not helpful. Not helpful at all. Come on guys, midnight's coming. You need to get out of here. Leave, people. We want to go home. We want to go to our beds tonight. Sometime tonight, at least. That'd be nice. Come on. Shovel that food in your gobs. Go home. Yeah, you're not happy. Yeah, just pay for it and just go. There we go. That's fine. Excellent. End of the day. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, we lost money. Okay, what did we lose money on? 200... Okay, so... Expenses, right. So, food and beverages. We made mm, a little bit, little bit less. Raw ingredients, we spent more. Policies, yeah, that's the policies which killed us, and other. What was other? Was that hiring staff? Yeah, because personnel's gone up a little bit. That's fine. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's the that's the happy, happy person. So, yeah, um, customer satisfaction. And that's not bad. It's not bad. We'll proceed. Um, and um, what we'll do, we will almost probably just hold it here for today, but I thought I'd at least show you where we're getting on. Um, whether we move on next episode, I don't know. I'd, I, I kind of really want to make sure this is definitely making a profit. So I think next time we need to upgrade the kitchen a little bit and hire an extra chef. And then we can most probably go on our wonders a little bit. Because this, this kitchen is looking a bit bland and not hugely helpful, let's say. But I think a little bit of reorganisation and, yeah, buying some furniture for the kitchen is what we need. But yeah, I'll hold it there for today. Obviously, don't forget to um, like the video, um, comment away, and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. And we will be back for more chefy adventures next time. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next one. Toodles, folks!